With over 30 years of experience, Civco is committed to providing healthcare professionals with solutions for increasing clinical confidence and improving patient and staff safety during procedures. More than 5 million central venous catheters are placed annually in the U.S., leaving many patients vulnerable to infection. According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, 1.7 million hospital-acquired infections occur each year, resulting in $30 billion in excess health care costs. Civco's Vascular Access product line focuses on transducer covers and system drapes for infection prevention, as well as in-plane and out-of-plane solutions for needle guidance. Dr. Jack Ledun, 2012 President of the Association for Vascular Access, has extensive clinical and research experience with central venous catheters. Ultrasound guidance for central line insertion has been shown to reduce the number of attempts, the number of failures, and the number of complications. Um, at this point in time, there are 30 randomized control trials that come down in favor of ultrasound guidance over the blind sticking. In addition, there are secondary benefits of a decreased infection rate and a decreased thrombosis rate based on the fewer number of attempts that you use. This will lead to preserving patients' veins. This should be the standard of care for which central lines are inserted. Civco's vascular access products help facilitate ultrasound guidance for CVC procedures and promote infection prevention. Each needle guide utilizes a two-part system consisting of a reusable biopsy bracket and a disposable snap-on guide. Needle guide technology improves the actual needle puncture associated with gaining vascular access by doing the trigonometry associated with the procedure. In other words, the patient's vessel is located at a certain depth below the skin and you must stick the needle in at a certain distance away from the probe at a certain angle. These needle guides will do that trigonometry for you and therefore put you in the right angle to, um, to, punct to puncture the vein. For this CVC procedure, Civco's Infinity Plus Needle Guide is used. The open channel design of the needle guide allows instruments to be positioned in the ultrasound scan plane, providing a safe, efficient means for puncture procedures. At so this point, we're going to use the Infinity Needle Guide and do an in-plane approach to the axillary vein. Okay, so we're going to pick a needle guide to attach the bracket. And the needle guide with this system comes in a couple of different sizes, 20 gauge, a 21-22, also comes in an 18 gauge and a 25 gauge. So I'm going to select the 21 gauge needle, so I'm going to pick this one off and we're going to attach that. Next I'm going to unfold the probe cover. And we're going to put the um, probe with the needle, um, with the bracket on it into the probe cover. A little gel there. Okay, Craig's so going to push it in. I'm going to unfold the probe cover. Okay, I'm going to make sure that the uh, gel is spread evenly and there are no bubbles in there. Now I'm going to attach the rubber band around the infinity guide. Next, I'm going to take the 21 gauge um, needle guide and attach it to the bracket. I'm going to fit in the foot plate and then establish this one here. So at that point we have the um, 21 gauge needle guide and we're going to open up our sterile um, gel. We're gonna relocate his axillary vein. Now we're going to anesthetize the patient and we can go right through the needle guide if the needle's long enough. We're gonna give him some local Okay, so we can see we've got a nice skin wheel. All right, so we've anesthetized the skin. Now we're going to relocate our vein. Now we're going to fit the needle into the needle guide. You see it coming through the skin and directing right down toward the axillary vein. Because it's in plane, we can see the whole shaft of the needle on the way down to the vein. Okay, at that point we've punctured the vein, we're going to remove the needle guide. We're going to stabilize the needle and aspirate. Maximal barrier protection of reusable components and ultrasound equipment is recommended to expand the sterile field and protect patients, professionals and equipment from risks associated with cross-contamination. Reusable components and ultrasound equipment 
must be thoroughly cleaned between uses. Infection control is a key concern during every CVC insertion. CVCs account for 90% of catheter-related bloodstream infections. The attributable cost per patient infection is estimated between $25,000 and $50,000, and the annual cost of caring for patients with CVC-related BSIs ranges from $296 million to $2.3 billion. Due to high infection rates and climbing costs, Medicare no longer reimburses facilities for hospital-acquired CVC-related BSIs as of October 2008. Civco Medical Solutions provides numerous tools for in- and out-of-plane needle guidance and a wide variety of infection prevention tools. Contact your Civco representative or visit www.civco.com to find solutions available for your equipment.